So the award that we're here to celebrate tonight is called the David Rockefeller Bridging Leadership Award. And it was named after my dad, who was actually the first recipient. And I have to say that in even starting Synergos, the notion of partnership and bringing people together and reaching out across divides was something that I really learned from you, Dad. So thank you once again and for being here with us to celebrate this award. So this award celebrates people who are willing to reach out beyond their comfort zone, to go to other sectors, to other layers of society, to really try to make a difference by bringing people together. And I should mention that Zainab Salbi, our MC, won the Bridging Leadership Award as founder of the Women for Women International. She's now moved to media with a talk show in the Middle East and another just launched yesterday in the US. So stay tuned. We're really fortunate this year to have two sets of honorees, both of them couples, both of them in doing different things, but equally extraordinary in the way that they do this bridging across divides. And it's my pleasure to introduce the first couple, which are Otman and Leila Benjaloun from Morocco who fittingly, in terms of receiving the award, are long-term friends of my father. They are some of the people that, in the course of founding Synergos, my father introduced me to, and when we started the Global Philanthropist Circle, they were among the first to sign up, and we're so glad to have you part of our circle. Otman is a true corporate leader in terms of social responsibility in Africa and globally. The BMCE, Bank of Africa, as it is now known, operates in 31 countries, 21 of them in Africa, and others in Europe, North America, and I think even one in Asia, if I'm right. Uh, among its initiatives, the bank has an award program to foster entrepreneurship in much of Africa with an aim of increasing employment, which, as you know, is a critical ingredient of development. Otman founded and Leila chairs the BMC Bank Foundation, which invests in education as a vehicle for development in Morocco and other parts of Africa. And as you will hear, their goal is to start 1,001 schools, and we'll hear how far along they are. So the foundation creates and supports schools that, and related economic, health, and environmental programs in rural communities of North Africa's Berber people. Amar Sig is another word for that. They are connecting culture, education, particularly language education, and development in a holistic way, empowering communities. And they partner not just with communities, but also with government. This is what we mean by bridging, and their doing it is helping take their impact to scale. We're very fortunate to have a video from the foundation showing some of their amazing work. When they enter the school of the Bamsir Bank Foundation, the children are ready and willing to learn. The Medersatcom program stimulates interest and positive attitudes in the pupils toward the sciences, languages, and arts that they learn. They are Peggy, they are David, ladies and gentlemen. We are honored to have been selected as a laureate of the David Rockefeller Bridging Leadership Award. We extend our sincerest thanks and profound appreciation to the David Rockefeller Foundation and Synergos for honoring us with such an illustrious award. 
I am sincerely grateful for the recognition of the engagement of BMC Bank Foundation for Education to provide schooling to children from poor and clubbed communities for whom education is a dream coming true thanks to the Medicine.com program. In the year 2000, our first school has seen light trying to create the climate in which children are motivated to excel and parents are motivated to contribute their best while respecting the identity, origin, values, local custom and traditions. Even since our schools have grown to 180 in total, including school in sub-Saharan Africa, our priority has been to help young girls in rural areas from we considered to be the most affected by illiteracy and poverty. The foundation provided education to 22,000 people, among which over 60% are girls. 1,200 of them have earned their high school degree and are currently pursuing undergraduate studies in prestigious universities and engineering school in Morocco and abroad. More than 6,000 adults from local communities enrolled in our free literacy programs. More than 2,000 families benefited from microcredit and successfully launched small business ventures. 55% beneficiaries are women. More than 530 teachers recruited and trained, of which 48% are women. We restored one Casbah turned into a school. In all our school development and infrastructure projects that our school have driven for the benefit of the local communities, namely water and electricity supply, road fitting, health care facilities. Four which are talked in our school, Amazir, no like Bebe, Arabic, French, and Mandarin. Starting next year, English will be taught. The bridge we built are also virtual. We are developing distance learning program thanks to a satellite-based communication network which connects our school and enables them to exchange knowledge such as Mandarin in partnership with Confucius Institute established in Morocco. Introducing modern technology as a teaching method includes the use of interactive whiteboards in classroom as well as system for providing detailed information about pupils and their performance about teacher and about the socio-democratic environment. The David Rockefeller Bridging Leadership Award is an additional incentive to BMC Bank Foundation to continue in quest to make quality education accessible and affordable to all. I am honored to stand today before such a prestigious audience with whom we share the same values and conviction. The first and foremost being that education for everyone across frontiers is the pledge of a better future. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be very short. After all, all what Leila told you, I think you have learned a lot of what we are doing in Morocco and Africa. Uh, following Leila, I would like to again express our appreciation and gratitude in uh, receiving this uh, magnificent award. Thank you, David. Thank you, Peggy.
I very much hope that the film which you have just uh, seen has given you a clearer idea of what has been our driving passion these past two decades, which is our commitment to education. This film has been produced and realized by Dunya, our daughter, which is present here tonight. One of the first things that I did when uh, the bank has been privatized in 1995. <laughs> I hesitate. The years go on, and we don't know where we are today. <laughs> One of the things I did when our bank was privatized more than 20 years ago was to set up the BMC Bank Foundation and to place education at the very heart of the strategy. We thought that if the shareholders, the group's entire human resources, and the general public were to buy in to this initiative, then another major decision has to be taken. This decision was to convince the board of directors of the bank to allocate each year 4% of the bank's gross operating income to our foundation. The board approved this decision. Consequently, thanks to this decision, every year millions of dollars allowed us to support and develop our educational program. I can uh, say beautiful things about how uh, we work on uh, bridging leadership. Uh, but uh, I am not going to bother you. We are all waiting uh, to other uh, speeches and uh, to have a dinner together. Uh, so let me just say one last thing, ladies and gentlemen. We often say, Leila and I, that in all that we have accomplished in our life, this initiative to promote education in rural areas in Morocco and in Africa is undoubtedly the professional and human achievement that has given us the greatest satisfaction in our life. That's all. Thank you. Thank you.